Jennifer Curte is burning up the highways across the country with her powerful workshops and keynotes, inspiring audiences all along the way. Winning rave reviews from coast to coast, Jennifer is a master storyteller whose energy and passion will leave you breathless and inspired. As a devoted mentor, Jennifer has committed her life to developing excellence in others. Jennifer's passion and persistence will inspire you to rise up and become a more assertive, effective, and persuasive communicator. Well, good morning! Hey, Alyssa, I know what you're thinking right now, and you're wrong. I am not your local Mary Kay representative. <laughs> and I'm not the Easter Bunny either, Gail Cohen. Just in case you're wondering. Hey, LA, I'm so glad to be here like you heard. I am from here and it's so good to be home. I gotta tell you, I'm trapped in Las Vegas. I moved to Vegas like nine months ago and I'm going through a huge culture shock. You know how when you live here, you've got great culture, great food, great music, great art. I mean, you've really got the best of the best, right? Well, I'm realizing that living in Vegas, they think of culture as buffets, bingo, and Elvis. So I'm going through a little bit of a culture shock, but I've got to tell you, I'm so glad to be here. Listen, I'm going to be talking to you about stress reduction, stress management, because the reality is we are knee deep in stress right now. Now I want to know from you, what's freaking you out? What's stressing you out right now? What's going on? The war, certainly. What else is stressing you out? The Kids, the economy, yes. What else is stressing you out? Come on. The food is cold. Oh, the room is cold. Okay, hey, the room is cold. What else? <laughs> Finances, I heard. What's that? Work. Gas Work. Prices. Gas prices. Oh, my gosh, yes. Business. Business is stressing you out. Here's the reality. I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is none of those things that you just said to me are considered stress. Now, I know what you're thinking. Walk a mile in my shoes. I know. But the reality is stress is not a person, place, a thing, or an event. Stress is your reaction to those people, those places, those things, and those events. You have a choice. Now, I know I sound like your mom when I say that. You have options. You know, you hated that when your mom said it because chances are you didn't want to do what they were telling you you should do. Chances are it's easy for you to react, for you to get angry, for you to sulk and cry and kick the dog. It's easier to do those things than to react in a different way. And what I want you to understand is it's imperative that you start choosing a different reaction because this is what we know. We have proof through the medical community that stress can kill you. We know for a fact that stress causes high blood pressure. Now you know that, but you're not afraid of it. That's the problem. Now do you know that stress causes heart disease? Guys, heart disease is the number one killer of adults in America. Do you know that? Do you know that one out of every two adults will suffer from heart disease? Do you know that right now in this country, we're spending over $40 billion a year on stress-related illnesses? You see, this is huge. Stress is killing people. It causes strokes, infertility, hardening of the arteries, low sex drive. Are you listening now? <laughs> we know that it causes the common cold, strep throat. We have medical proof that stress causes cancer. There is a direct link between stress and cancer. This is huge. And what it's telling us is we have got to become aware and we've got to start making different choices because the reality is your life depends on it. Now here's what's happening. You may not know this. What happens in your body when you stress out is that you are producing a life-threatening toxin. Now, when is it produced? When you have a bad moment, when you have a bad second, when you get in that funk, when you're in a mood, when you're having one of those days, your body is producing a toxin, and that toxin is breaking down your immune system. Now here's what you need to understand. That toxin is only produced under stress, which is why we know that stress causes all of these life-threatening illnesses and so many more. So here's what you have to understand, and I want you to write this, this down somewhere. This chemical in your body is called cortisol. Cortisol, C-O-R-T-I-S-O-L, cortisol. And the only time it's ever produced is when you're freaking out. So we've got to talk about what we're doing with our choices. Now, here's the good news. Your body has one known combatant to overcoming cortisol. One way of overcoming all of that negative stress that's being literally dropped into your system. So when you are stressed out, when you're freaked out and people are telling you, you're just moody, you're just edgy, you're jumpy, right? Hey, to live on it, something's wrong with you. Now you decide there's something you gotta do. So you look in a book or you go to a seminar or you watch TV or get on the net and they always tell you there is one way to overcome stress. What is always the number one way to overcome stress? 
Someone said breathe. Good. Yes, breathing is important. Always. Yeah. It's important. It's important. You know I'm playing with you. Yes, actually exercise. Y'all said exercise. Exercising is the number one way to overcome stress because of the endorphin release. Endorphins are the only known combatants to cortisol. Write it down. Because the reality is, if you are just relaxing, if you're off reading a book, if you're just meditating and taking a little time to chill out, you are not doing what your body needs. You see, cort this cortisol is attacking your immune system. It's breaking you down, which makes you susceptible to anything that comes your way. So if you're just laying around doing a lot of nothing, you are not healing your body. You know what these endorphins are? They are your fountain of youth. They are your magic pill, your fairy dust that's going to bring your body springing back to life. So we've got to focus on that. Do I think it's important for you to relax, take some time, meditate? Of course I do. But what I think we need to focus on is in, you know, starting to release these endorphins. 